Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's live channeling. Um, I had a course, I had a class to teach for Pro Crystal Healer uh, before this, so uh, I'm a little late getting on live today, but I'm super happy to be here. Um, and this week, uh, interestingly enough, uh, this crystal was uh, requested a lot uh, in the past few weeks. Cherowite, Cherowite, uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, violet ray crystal, uh, and one that I've been working with <clears throat> personally and professionally, I, I think for about 15 years. Very, very powerful uh, healing crystal, both uh, for some physical uh, ailments, especially uh, stuff that revol revolves around uh, detox um, in the liver and other stuff. Energy from chair white can be supportive, um, but also uh, emotionally uh, in terms of courage, in terms of clearing through fear and facing challenges and other things. So uh, chair white, very beautiful, very powerful crystal. Uh, that I'll be channeling from today. So, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so here we go with chair white. <sighs> and it's interesting because it's, again, it's one of those, those crystals whose energy moves you know, pretty quickly, pretty direct, and it went right to my throat, and I have been having uh, issues with my throat today. I'm a little hoarse, because I just finished uh, teaching a class for about an hour and a half, um, but also, you know, weather, allergies, whatever else, it's kind of that time of year. So I felt the energy immediately go to my throat, and um, interestingly enough, um, as I'm talking, I'm, I'm feeling that tension start to clear up and start to ease my throat. I'm feeling more um, expansiveness. And, you know, it's interesting because uh, people can get really locked into um, crystals and their colors and the associated chakras, you know, to those colors and whatever, and think that a crystal just works you know, on that one chakra or those two chakras and doesn't have any other kind of, you know, application, but, but right away, you know, it, it goes to uh, the throat chakra. And so it's like, I tell my students, you learn the rules first, but then they get broken all the time. <laughs> and this chair, I just broke that rule, um, went right to my throat. So that feels good. So thank you, uh, for that. <clears throat> and, uh, now let's see where it's going. It's going to the heart. It's coming right to the heart. You know, and this is, this is one of the reasons why chair white to me is always, you know, one of those just deeply healing, really pure and um, <clears throat> such loving crystals because it, it feels like it's kind of just going right to the core of, um, you know, what, I, what I'm kind of feeling today. Like I'm traveling tomorrow. Uh, I'm not a big traveler. I'm really a root down girl. So, you know, there's, there's some kind of insecurity or anxiety um, around that, around the travel, around leaving my, my, my little doggy. Um, and I feel like that, that energy is just going right to uh, that, that source. And it, it reminds me of one of the properties that I was just speaking of uh, previously, you know, about chairite in terms of, it's really kind of a tonic, I guess. I almost want to say that it's a tonic. It's a tonic, like an emotional tonic and also uh, a physical tonic for what we're feeling, you know, is ailing us. It just sort of goes right, right to that. Um, so right to, you know, <clears throat> those feelings in, in my heart about, you know, the mixed feelings, you know, looking forward to seeing some friends, but at the same time, uh, uh, traveling and, and really kind of bringing what almost feels like um, a, a, I hate to use the word balancing because it's just such a ubiquitous word this this day and age that really doesn't mean a whole lot until you drill down into it but like I feel like it's it's providing some balancing energy in terms of courage, in terms of fortitude, in terms of personal strength. Um, and I'm definitely also feeling um, the energy in my third eye chakra and a message that's coming through 
uh, is for those of you out there who are maybe fascinated by the idea of you know activating um, uh, certain uh, energies or uh, abilities you know uh, of your third eye chakra that are perhaps laying a bit dormant like psychic abilities and other things but you're worried about what you might see you're worried about what you might experience you're worried about what might you know people might say there can also be karmic fears uh, in terms of a uh, chair right opening or your third eye opening but but what the chair right energy is is coming and the you know the message that it's saying is that it can help you um to to overcome uh, those fears to overcome those trepidations to overcome those anxieties so that it can start to open and start to open and really kind of whoa I just felt my third eye spike but really kind of you know open in a way that's gradual so that you feel safe and you feel empowered and you feel in control uh, you know which is really kind of the thing in terms of what's happening with your your psychic or spiritual opening or awakening and that's actually something that's that's coming through now from the chair consciousness about how uh, so many of us um or so many anyway, or maybe there are people out there um, who, you know, feeling, needing that sense of control, whatever it might be, because so much can feel out of control right now, you know, with our, our world or our lives, or, you know, maybe it's your health or something going on with your family, um, and, and being able to, to root down in the self. Because what it's saying is that, you know, the one thing we do always have control over is ourselves and our choices and how we choose to respond and so part of what chair right does is is it helps to helps us to disengage from what's coming through is the fear conversation the fear and the self-doubt conversation that that we can have that kind of keeps us engaged in our worries engaged in our fears engaged in our anxieties instead of being able to come into kind of like that center line you know like they talk about uh, you know in martial arts um, in terms of coming into that center line and coming into that place of balance of core of being able to root down in the self and choose um, how to to respond and again that that theme of courage you know is is really coming through in terms of all of us uh having courage courage for ourselves for our lives and and you know how that ripples outwards as we look out into the world and 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 our part um in the world and in the life scheme and so i i'm really feeling kind of like that that energy especially a uh, sort of building up um I almost want to say in the mental plane or the the mental part of my energy, but also just uh, uh, you know that that third eye energy really building um, and really strengthening. And another thing that it's showing me is that it helps with perspective. Uh, for those of you who you know experience again with the fear conversations or the self doubt, getting confused about which choices to make, um, in which responses to have, helping you come back into that place of perspective that is uniquely yours, which seems to be a really key uh, word, uniquely or, or key words, key point. Um, um, what is uniquely yours? So isn't necessarily what uh, people think or what it should be or the right thing or, or what the spirit, current spiritual belief is or whatever. Um, but coming into your perspective in terms of what uniquely is right for you, because the more we're in our authentic selves, the more we are in our power. And so part of what Chair White is saying is, you know, yes, it's it's this tonic to help us, but it, ultimately what it's doing is it's helping to dress what is diminishing our sense of personal power, our sense of, uh, uh, you know, empowerment, uh, helping to bring us back into more of again i keep seeing that center line and that healthy a uh, balanced place for us and so i feel uh, the channeling uh as sort of wind down um so that's uh that's a bit of of message and medicine from uh, uh cheroid beautiful um purple crystal today and you know the thing i i'd like to point out to people and i i said this uh in class last week um, in my Pro Crystal Healer class that in every crystal there is a universe. In every crystal there is a universe. In every crystal there is so much more to discover and go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. So this one, you know, nine minute channeling from Cheroite is just a bit 
of what it has to share. It's just a bit of what it can do. So I encourage all of you, you know, each week, if you feel inspired by any of these channelings to then, you know, pick up that crystal and work with it and engage with its energy and discover uh, for yourself um, what it is that it can do for you and working with them as allies, working with them as uh, givers of, of energy medicine to support you in your path in your life. So that's Cherite. That's the channeling for uh, this week. I'll put the request box up and I'll let you guys know tomorrow what was the most popularly uh, voted for crystal. And as long as I haven't done it in the past six months, that'll be uh, the channeling for next week. So thank you everyone so much for joining. Uh, take beautiful loving care of yourselves um, and I will see you again soon.